hello guys welcome once again in this video I will show you how to open a webcam with your C sharp application so for that we are going to need one DLL file which we are going to download from the internet so just go to your browser and uh, in your browser type this link it's called easy webcam dot codeplex dot com codeplex I think is a Microsoft uh, website which host open source uh, softwares and so it's a open source software which we can use in our uh, projects also and for more license information you can always click here so what you need to do is just go to this download button on this we website or the link link is called easywebcam.codeplex.com and just click this download button and a zip file will be downloaded so I will click this download button and my zip file will start downloading yes it starts and when you open this zip file it contains four projects in different languages windows form c sharp project is there windows form visual basic webcam project is there wpf c sharp webcam project is there and wpf visual basic webcam project is there so just extract it in your desired folder and when you extract it the folder looks like this it also has this dll for add reference zip file which I will extract in the that folder only so I right click and extract here and this webcam capture DLL can be very useful for opening the webcam in your application so I'm just opening their provided C sharp application Windows form C sharp this first one because we are working on windows form application in our videos just double click it and I will open this project from here this project and this project if you can see contains these four files so just to open this form CS and it has all the buttons for starting stopping continue for the video and you can also capture image save the image and change the video format and video source but you need to add the DLL file before running this program so just right click your project and go to add references add reference and go to browse and browse for this dll file which we have recently extracted so webcam underscore capture dot dll file just extract and press ok and in your resources you will see this webcam underscore capture dll is added now when you run the program it should run and when you start this uh, or when you press this start button the video should start capturing so let's see I press this start button and press ok and it's showing me some error because there is a pro problem with my webcam but when you start your or when you press your C sharp application this button when you press the webcam should start because I have checked this and this worked 100% so this is the standalone project in itself you can add this same project in your application also so what you need to do is just whatever you project you are working on just right click and 
just add references and browse for the same DLL file so on the desktop I have this and just browse for this DLL file from there and extract in your resources okay as I have done in the window uh, webcam application and once again just right click this your project and this time go to add existing items and you need to add the files which is there in this project which are webcam.cs and this helper.cs these are the two already made files which has the code for capturing the webcam so just you need to copy these file into your project so what I have done is once again I right click it add and go to existing items and then browse for those two files in your system so I have extracted in this folder go to the project and I will just select this and this helper and webcam.cs file and add this was, will add these two files in your project okay and when you add this webcam.cs or when you have opened this webcam.cs you see the namespace name is winform care sharp uh, sorry winform sharp webcam so this namespace you can call it in your project for example when you go to your your form and double click it or when you go to the code you can call that winform sharp webcam namespace in your project so right using winform sharp webcam just like this and now what you need to do is just copy and paste what are there in the code so just take these picture boxes and in the same way in your form also you can drag and drop picture boxes and button for starting and stopping the videos and you can just copy whatever code they have used and in the page load or main form load event they have this code so I have copy this code and in my code I will go to my code and I will paste it here in initialize below my initialize component function in my form definition so here and it's showing some error because I haven't declared what they have declared here webcam dot webcam variable so copy this and paste it into your application or project now you have to change this picture box name so just select your picture box copy the name of picture box and just go there and just change the name so you can do this and you can change the names or text for this and press start and double click it and whatever they have provided in for starting the webcam so this is the code for starting so just copy this and paste it in your button click event so in this way you can use this or in your application and you can open the webcam in your application also so when I run this it should run in your PC my webcam has some fault that's why it's not running but it will run in your PC okay so I hope you have learned something new this time please rate comment and subscribe and bye for now